What's up guys and gals, welcome back to the Nerd Castle. Today in the world of indie games, we're going to be checking out a title called Artificer, Science of Magic. Uh, this is a game that has a lot in common in my opinion with like Don't Starve, uh, games along that line. Sort of an isometric top-down survival game where you play sort of an alchemist, I guess, who's... Or an, like a scientist who's landed on like a foreign alien planet. The last time I played this game... It was very, very early on. Like, this game, it didn't have sound effects. It had sound effects that were missing. Like, it basically had, like, missing assets and stuff the last time I checked it out. Uh, but that's because they gave me limited access to a very, very, very early playable alpha. Uh, this right here is actually, like, the good stuff. Now that we're ready to rock. Uh, let's check the game out. It's going to be coming out fairly soon. You can check that out down below if after watching this uh, you find it to be appealing. If not, you can take a pass. That's always an option. But let's go. Empty slot at Fetcher mode. Oh, if we die in this mode. Interesting. All right. I'm about it. The universe is full of secrets. In 2178, humanity caught a glimpse of one. A distant star kept blinking in the Mizar system. The luminosity change was a mystery. Scientists all over the world focused on the anomaly. Orbital telescopes turned their eyes to Mizar to discover something groundbreaking. Life. A research vessel was sent. But after three years, all contact was lost. The human spirit is not that easily broken, though. The people of Earth tried again. Sending their best. Sending you. Your ship is about to approach Alcor. And its secrets. Dude, did they send me to another planet with a dog? I'm so stoked about this, man. Like, I'm actually really, really, really hyped about the fact that we have a dog. Oh my god. The dog plays chess. Now we're just dancing around each other. Not quite. Checkmate. What? But I can move here. Pawn. Then here. Bishop. Then... Keep looking. May Holy shit, what was that? Uh, that's code theta. Something's gone really wrong. We need to get to the escape pods. Quick, let's move. Yeah, dude, we gotta take our dog with us. Let's go. Come on, dog. Let's rock this thing. Where's the escape pod? I don't know this ship. I don't know the layout. Where's the escape pods? Is that an escape pod? That's not an escape pod. All right, to the right. Maybe there's escape pods this way. Come, my friend. Dude, that's a big dog. What kind of dog is that? Like, it looks like an Australian Shepherd, but it goes up to his waist with its head. So either our character's like four feet tall, or that's a really, really, really big shepherd. Oh, man, those people got sucked out. Ooh. Well, there goes the route to the escape pods. I got a better idea. Follow me. Where are we going? The shuttle bay. Elevator. Opposite side. All right, let's go, let's go, let's go. I like how the, look at the dog, he's in the little window. <laughs> the dog's got, he's like, like the little window right there. Oh, God. I'm so happy right now. Even in the future, we provide viewports for our dogs. Punch it, man! I like how our dog uses lots of profanity, too. That's also, that's also like, I assume that any dog that I own would probably use a lot of profanity. I don't swear on the channel that much. Hardly ever. I try to avoid it because it's family friendly over here. But in real life, I swear like a sailor. So it's like, hey, you know. You guys can get a flavor of that if you ever come over to the Twitch stream. Twitch TV slash Splattercat Gaming. That's my after hours where I don't like go out of my way to like censor myself or like keep a low profile. Oh, I'm alive. Damn it. Shuttle's completely wrecked. Nanonic's not working. Salazar. Hey, Salazar, you here? Oh no, dude! My dog bet- Oh my god, if they kill my dog in the opening of this game, I swear to god. Zero out of ten IGN! You're awake. Raymond, I need a med pack from the escape pod. I've got a piece of fuselage or something jammed into my rib. It's bad, I can't breathe. Okay. Just give me a second, buddy. 
Just give me a second. Just give me a minute. Oh no, dude. I think the ship broke in half. Raymond, I'm bleeding out. Now's not the time to theorize. You got that med pack? Oh, dude, I don't know, man. I don't know. It's not inside that part of the ship, though. Oh, no. I don't know what I'm picking up right now, but you know what? I'm going to pick it up even more. Apparently, it's a bunch of rocks that we busted loose when our ship hit the ground. Sounds like a plan to me. Uh, we got to find the other part of this ship, I think. So let's do our best here. Apparently, I can pick up some leaves and stuff, too. Some dotted algae. All right, sounds good. Oof, that's sharp. Never mind. Okay, apparently that hurt me. It's snake weed. Oh, yeah, it did. It made my health go down by, like, 0 .08. Not very much, but 0 .08 nonetheless. All right, I can't do anything over there. Dude. Uh, I kind of need to save my dog here. Oh, I'm so upset about this. He said something about the tail section. I'm going to go look and see if it fell off over here. Like, it's got to be in the neighborhood somewhere. Is there a map or anything? There it is. There it is. There it is. We got this. We got this. There we go. There we go. There we go. Okay, so we, we looted it. There's two med packs. We got a med pack right here. Can I, like, use it on myself? No? Okay, pick it back up. Uh, there we go. I med packed myself. Although, that seems like it probably wasn't the thing to get done, like, right this second. Let's go back over this way. All right, we got to help him out. We got to help him out. Got to save the dog. Thanks, Ray. Help me apply it. Together, you managed to patch the dog's wounds. I'll live, but now we got to figure out the next steps. Let's discuss our situation. All right, what happened to the ship? We were hit by some kind of kinetic weapon. Sections of the ship decompressed, and then the Hawking's core was punctured, which resulted in a massive thermonuclear explosion. The debris hit our shuttle, and we're lucky to be alive. Okay. No one's sending any audio to the comm link, but it can track the shuttle transponder and other signals, so you can switch the modes on the device. It'll be useful to find your way back here or to look for other survivors. All right, so what do we know about Alcor? Apart from it being in the anomaly that uprooted the scientific world, not much. Less than 1G, oxygen-rich atmosphere, the ship we've been sent after, the Thabit, had not sent any data back. The biosphere looks amazing and a little bit of frightening. Frightening? Yep, the trees howl when you get close to them, for real. I've also seen movement in the bushes, so there's almost certainly predators here. Okay, I'm gonna pet him. You pet Salazar and it cheers him up. <laughs> Thanks, man. <laughs> you gotta be able to, like, there's an entire, there's an entire Twitter feed that is dedicated to whether or not you can pet dogs in various games, and you gotta get on the list, man. It's a very important publication to be a part of. Alright, so what should we do next? Well, get a fire going before it gets dark. There's bound to be predators around here. You can use the shuttle as a workbench, and there's some tools there. Explore the vicinity, gather supplies. Uh, you are a survival class ace, right? You want to help with materials? I'm going to stay with the ship and run some tests. Like, yeah, I'm scared. I don't have an opposable thumb or a mech suit. I'm a doctor of chemistry, not Gil Fleurs. Alright. Apparently, he's not Gil Fleurs, whoever that is. I don't know who Gil Fleurs is. Uh, I think we can, like, stare at this thing. No, not that. Don't touch that. That's bad. But we can look at this thing right here. Yeah, and we get research from it if we right-click on it. It's kind of a weird system. I actually wish we were zoomed in a little closer. Can I zoom in a little closer? Brightness would be nice, too, though. I'm down with some brightness. Let's do it. All right, so we got these things over here. Can I do anything with this right now? There you go. Give me that, give me, give me that sweet-ass research. Uh, so we got some skill points right there, some research points. I assume we're going to use that at the research bench. Oh, yeah. So it'll help us track the, the shuttle over here if we have that. Nice. Okay, well, let's move this. Uh, what does this do? Can I do anything with this just yet? I can get a little bit more research, if nothing else. I don't know where I'm supposed to get the wood from. I'm getting lots of dotted algae right now, but... Here we go. We'll do some more. We'll do some more survival research point. Oh, you just pull them off of the tree. All right. Fair enough. Oh, he smacked it with a rock. Gotcha. Okay. So let's go back over here. Uh, it wants three of those in order to make a campfire. But I need what looks like whale wood logs. All right. So we'll grab a we'll grab an axe first and foremost. I don't think I have the stuff left over to make the other thing, but we've got an axe. So let's go in here. I'll put that right there. And then I'm going to take all this stuff out because I don't like having a cluttered hot bar. I don't know if you're anything like me, but I do not like having a cluttered hot bar when it comes to playing like MMOs or games or anything else. It just, it annoys me. 
It looks like my axe is gonna last a decent amount of time. I don't see any indicator that my axe is breaking or that there's anything wrong with it. Um, I do wish that you automatically looted all the stuff that it dropped. That would be a change that I would make, because it should just be like, blip, 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 blip. It should go into your inventory, and then there'd be like a little pop-up on this side that tells you what you picked up with like plus one, plus one, plus two, you know? Something like that. I think it makes it more satisfying for the player. Just like a little doop, 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 whenever you pick things up. I also feel like any game that has money in it... Oh, God, what is that thing? Oh, no, dude. A whale worm. It doesn't look very whale-like. Listen, man. I'm gonna need you to relax, cousin. I don't have any good weapons right now, but uh, if you could just relax for me and die, that would be great. I'm also going to harvest your body for science. So there we go. We got exopathology research. Nice. I don't even know what that means, but you know what? I'm not gonna worry about it. Wouldn't it be xenopathology? Since it's a living thing. Like, exopathology, I guess, works too, because exo means outer, right? I don't know. I'm gonna get this out of the way so that I have more room to build a base. Man. That thing don't want to break, do it. There it goes. Alright, I was gonna say, man, that thing's fighting. That thing doesn't want to go. That's a tough stump right there. That's a stump with a chin on it. That's a stump with some beard hairs. All right, so we got some more wormwood logs. We got some more of the whalewood branches. That means we can make one of these guys. Perfect. Uh, we can also make a... Since this is quest appropriate, we will make this first. But we can also afford to make a research bench too, so that's good. We also have a basic workshop over here, which I assume is going to give us a few more things that we can craft. Uh, but we need more materials for that. So, I'm going to put in my science bench right there. There we go. I will put in a campfire right there. Uh, what? Those don't look friendly. I better get a fire going. Yeah, luckily uh, my cardio is on a better game than theirs, but uh, it's not looking good, man. Maybe I got to put it in the slot down at the bottom. Hold on, I got to run them off a little bit. Let's let's run them off a little bit. We're gonna make it. But I gotta, I gotta get a little bit of a gap. So we'll bring him over here. Oh no, dude, I got stuck in a corner. That's not good. Oh, you can't go through in between the trees. Okay, I learned a new thing today. You can't go in between the trees. Thanks for your help, by the way, dog. I appreciate it. That's super cool of you. Oh, I really like that animation right there. That looks really, really good. I didn't expect that to happen. It actually kind of surprised me. All right, well, we got logs. We got ash coming on in. Let's maybe consider throwing that up inside the inventory so it doesn't get in the way. What can I do with the research bench? That's what I'm really interested in. Uh, let's see here. So we can press R to get to the research tree. Uh, so we've got heat treatment, exothermal, oxidation. So we've got astrobiology, and we've got survival. So we've got herb lore over here. Research the scroll at your research bench. Uh, we've also got to get makeshift constructions, and we've got heat treatment. All right. Apparently, we've got some kind of mini game we've got to play right here in order to unlock herb lore. Uh, it means we need, like, a moon. Oh, okay. What does the moon do? The moon resets it? Okay. Water makes it go down, too. Uh, so we got to use, like, alchemy. I see what's up. There we go. Herb lore research complete. Nice. So now we have herb lore. Uh, what do we have to do for makeshift constructions okay so that one's correct that one's correct which means these should be correct I was gonna say like as long as you get a match right there we should be all right correct either way we've we've learned a new thing uh, what is this right here matching game maybe okay there's the eyeballs, and uh, we need leaves now. Hey, knocking it out of the park. Wasn't that right there? Yeah, I was gonna say. Got a sun right there, another leaf, another sun. Let's see here, a rock. We haven't seen any rocks, but hey, we got it. Uh, where was that other leaf at? Was there a leaf around here? That was a skull. And uh, we got a water thing right there, leaves right there, so we can do that. That's gonna be the skull, and then there's our last piece right there. Nice! I do like how you have to do a little mini game in order to complete the research to sort of like denote that you know, you're trying real, real hard. Can I throw the algae in there? 
Oh yeah, you can actually get on in there and it goes herb lore. So when you smoke the herb, it reveals you to yourself. Without the advanced molecular facilities to produce medicine, you've turned your attention to local flora. By performing several basic experiments, you've discovered many useful properties of nearby found herbs and plants. A few species have passed the universal edibility test. Dotted algae has antiseptic properties, making it an excellent candidate for wound binding agents. Weeping agarics become fluorescent with rub, providing means to mark the way and navigate in the darkness. In addition to all these discoveries, you've designed a crude mortar and pestle. Okay, nice. What did this one do over here? Uh, this one has allowed us to get a tent. It's allowed us to get a crate. Okay, good to know. And then what did this guy do right here? He gave us glass. It gave us a kiln. It gave us paper, charcoal. Damn, we got mileage out of that one right there. We got mileage out of that one. Exopathology. I should probably give this a go and just see. Oh, we're doing this again. Okay. Okay. Well, I didn't have enough research points uh, to flip cards to finish that one. Uh, so we need to get to work. We've got stuff we need to accomplish out here today. So let's go ahead and we'll start chopping down some trees. I'd like to make ourselves a shelter. What, oh, this little guy's messing with us now, huh? All right. Uh, the combat is not like crazy incredible. It's like, it's basically don't starve combat, but just like a little bit looser. Uh, it's not quite as tight. But then again, like, Don't Starve's combat is not the best combat I've ever played in a video game either. That's not really the point of the game, and so no complaints from your boy Splatty. Uh, can I get any more research from this thing, or can I carve it up or whatever? Oh, I can make a knife which will allow me to harvest it. That might be a decent plan. Okay, yeah. Uh, let's beat back some of these trees over here, man. As far as I can tell, those monkey gorilla things come from the trees, and so the more I kill the trees, the better my chances are of surviving. So we will slay the forest. It has proved itself to be no ally of ours, and we shall not keep its custom. Now, I don't know to be certain, but we have a lot of wood on board right now. So we might be able to do something over here. Oh yeah, more options. Okay. Let's think about making a basic workshop. That's the one that sounds good to me. And so I'm going to put this guy right here. And like, what can I do with the basic workshop? So we've got axes. Uh, effectively, it's pretty much all the same stuff that we could make out of other things. So we need red twig leaves, 20 logs. We're going to need snake weed and stone. Okay. Uh, can I harvest the snake weed with the axe without hurting myself? Question. Uh, the other obvious thing is like, how do I make a bandage? That part is actually kind of important to me. Can I make a bandage? We've got an algae bandage right there. So I've got the dotted algae, but I need mush cane. I don't know where I get mush cane from. So we're have to figure that one out the hard way. Oh, apparently it hurts me. Like, I, I figured he'd use the axe or something. All right, well, let's stay moving. Do our best to stay mobile. I actually don't need more wood, so I don't know why I'm chopping that. Let's go ahead and explore a little bit further. Uh, looks like we've got a few paths that are running through the trees right here. Hey, that looks like mush cane. That looks like mush cane. I don't know what this is, but it looks like mush cane. And that looks like that red twig leaf stuff, too, that we're going to need. All right, that dude's dead, but now we're poisoned, which is really always kind of the risk in killing those things. Well, let's do some more applied sciences. There we go. There we go. Okay, so it's called snail horn, whatever that is right there. What is this? Now that's mush cane. Okay, so we found mush cane. What is this? That is red twig. Yeah, get all the red twig you possibly can. I will also take the mush cane. What is that thing? Hold on, what is that? What are you? Man, that took a lot of research. Uh, it's sand, we don't like it. However, it's what you discovered. Fair enough, fair enough. I would actually like to put as much of this stuff inside my... What is this over here? I do like how you have to research everything. Like, you go and you kind of look at stuff. Uh, we found a laminar. Okay. And now that we've got mush cane, I can make some bandages, so I'm not so beat up anymore. So that's really, really nice. Appreciate that. That also allows me to get some... Uh, we can get some more snake weed. All right, let's head back down this way. I don't want to fight any other worms. I would like to figure out how we can make a knife, though, so that we can start butchering some of these animals that we're killing and maybe getting some, like, extra parts off of them. Uh, I think that's a really, really good idea, and it's one that I'm in support of. I've cut my hands while gathering the plant. Feels bad. Feels bad. All right, so we've got a couple of mush canes over here. We got nine mush canes, in fact. 
What was it for the tent? We needed red twigs, snake weed. Okay, so we're going to have to hurt ourselves a little bit more before we can fully get our hands on all those goodies, but we're getting there. Uh, red twig leaves, we're just going to have to find more of. I'm going to say that a bandage is a pretty good idea right now. Oh, it's mushcane pulp. Oh, maybe I need the mortar and pestle in order to do it. Something that I failed to think about. Yeah, maybe I gotta make mushcane pulp with the mortar and pedal or a pestle. Let's do it. We'll do some more alchemy out here. Actually, interestingly enough, I just started studying old hermetic alchemy. Like, you know, like what Newton was into, like turning lead into gold. I got a big encyclopedic book that starts out in like the, the year 1000, and it's written by some guy that has like a PhD in history or whatever. And it just starts from the beginning, and it's like the sigils and imagery of hermetic, uh, hermetic alchemy. And, like, it goes through, like, Hermes, Trismagora, and all that kind of stuff. Like, from the beginning to, like, all the stuff that they believed and what all the symbolism and everything means. It's pretty crazy, man. They believed some pretty wild stuff back then. And this was, like, common knowledge. Like, this is the stuff that, like, an educated person back then wouldn't know. Uh, like, Isaac Newton believed in this stuff. The guy that invented calculus believed in this stuff. A lot of people forget that. Isaac Newton tried to turn lead into gold. That was, like, his ultimate goal that he wanted to accomplish. And so anyways, like, learned men from that time period believed this stuff about the der, the various, like, mercury and sulfur humors and everything. It's a crazy book, though. Like, I'm learning a lot that, like, they don't talk about this stuff at all in history books, like, what people back then believed. And it seems so foreign and alien to me now, reading this massive book that's starting from the beginning, you know, but to them it made perfect sense because that was their science. Ah, uh, it's Maggie the zoologist. Is she dead? She had a few weird pets, and this looks like one of them. Oinkstein the pig. He was supposed to be really smart. Oh, the pig is dead on top of her. Aw, oh, dude! She died with her piggy? Oh, man. Now I feel bad. Is there a med kit or anything in here? Anything? No? Can I search the dead lady? We might as well. I mean, I do need a first aid kit. That is just like facts. A first aid kit would be great. I have... No doubt that a first aid kit would be the best right now. A little bit more snake weed, I suppose. I don't see anything else laying around. What is this over here? Oh, it's like some kind of log. Hold on. Looks like I can examine it from that side. One thing I would suggest is that sometimes it's hard to get the sometimes it's hard to get the examination spot on the tree. Uh, they need to make it a little bit more generous so that you can do it from a tiny bit further away. Uh, that way when you're right clicking on stuff in fact i would just get so as it is right now you've got to spam right click in order to like identify objects and like get the research points for them instead of doing that i would offer a suggestion um you walk up you right click it a little progress meter fills up like it did from when i was searching maggie and then once you're done it's just much more satisfying that way in my opinion i feel like it's more tactile to the user um, aside from just like spamming right click on something and like I'm a big fan of spamming clicks, okay? Don't get me wrong. I love spamming clicks. I need a pickaxe to mine it. All right, we'll go mine it then Perfect, I mean I was hoping I would get rocks because we're like woefully out of rocks right now Wait, what was he hitting right there? Oh was he hitting this one down to the bottom? Okay, I'm gonna keep picking up some plants while we're in the neighborhood the more mush cane I have, the more bandages I can make when we inevitably figure out, you know, where it is we're stuck at. How's our signal looking right now? There's an unknown signal that's in the opposite direction. Okay. Good to know. Oh, dude, it's almost nighttime. Yeah, I also would like to see... We've got sanity over here, and then we've got our health on this side. Okay. I would also very much like to see a meter or, like, a chronometer or, like, a clock or, like, a little display or something with, like, a sun and a moon going around that sort of, like, verifies for the player what time it is and, like, how long they have to get back. Like, you do get a little bit of a warning just from... Just from, like, the color of the world and how it drops with regards to its brightness, but at the same time, a little bit more never hurts, too. Uh, let's go to our research bench. We've got stuff to accomplish here. So we've got an eyeball over there. Got a leaf right there. Where's the eyeball at? I think that was that one right there. There we go. Perfect. And so we've learned things about exopathology now. Huzzah! We're an exopathologist. Uh, what did that do for me? So it gave me an autopsy table. Very cool. So we can start doing the XCOM thing, taking these critters apart. 
Uh, we don't have any other discoveries right now, so we are full up. There's not a whole lot that we can accomplish. I gotta find rocks. If I can't find rocks, we can't really get anything done here. Uh, I do want the mortal and or oh no 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 my logs my logs my logs. Uh, give those back, please. You can have the branch. No, well, you can't have all the branches. Um, how do I split a stack? There we go. You can have those right there. Just give me a minute. I need this mortar and pestle. And I need it badly. Oh, it's actually an interactable. Okay, we'll put it by the fire over here. Uh, yeah, I need mush cane. Mush up my mush cane. There you go. Maybe not all of it, but like five or six of it. That way we can make some bandages and actually heal ourselves once these med kits run out. Fire supply is not looking super great. So I kind of went through and I tried to add all of these things to the mortar and pestle. And as of right now, it seems like the mush cane is the only thing uh, that fully interacts. Yeah, just keep the logs going inside of there. I wonder if I can get away with doing some tree chopping. Like I'd really prefer not to get eaten by mountainous gorillas. Like, if I could avoid it, that would be really, really great. Yeah, chase that dude down. If you just hold down the F key while you're fighting with those things, he actually kills them pretty effectively. Yep. Just need a bit more tree flesh. That's about it. The sun is coming up. Come on. Alright, so with a few more supplies, I did sort of want to take a look and figure out if there was any real way... So we've got our research points. We don't have anything new that we can play around with. Uh, I need more rocks. We really need to go on a quest to find more rocks, I think, is going to be a big part of all this. Uh, I'm going to make bandages because bandages are good, and they make sure that I don't die horribly. Uh, we have all the stuff that we need except for rocks in order to make a whalewood tent, and that might allow us to sleep till morning, which would make things a little bit quicker and easier so that we don't have to worry about getting murdered. Uh, it looks like our next destination is up this way. Our next crew member, anyways, that has a transponder on him. Yeah, so it looks like they're at about this height right here, and then to the right. Oh, that's the shuttle signal. I got the wrong signal. Uh, let's go unknown signal. There we go. I'm going to say they're off to the left. All right, so I'm trying to track this guy down to the left, but no guarantees. What is that thing? Is that anything important? Can I click on that? Does it matter? Can I kill it? There we go. Apparently, I've called that thing the Feather Rat. Sounds fine. It's a perfectly decent name. Not the best name I've ever heard. Not the worst name I've ever heard. I can live with... Oh, another dead guy. That's no bueno. Uh, that's Albert. No signs of life. Yeah, it's because he got eaten by a giant millipede, dude. We gotta take that thing off of him. This is not right. You can't just leave the homies for... You can't leave the homies out to get consumed by giant millipedes. Oh, apparently he was murdered. He got mug ducked. Damn, another signal. I guess we'll check that out too. All right, sounds good. Uh, you are not my friend, and I don't like you, so please go away, whale worm. There we go, perfect. Uh, all I want to do is, oh, I can actually, I can check this out too. Maybe we get like xenogeology or something. There we go. Apparently it's just granite. I thought we were going to do some xenogeology. I was wrong. But this does supply us with the rocks that we needed in order to make all the little sundries that we're trying to do. But we're out of time for the day. My name is Splattercat. Thank you for hanging out. Uh, this game is called Artificer. It's in a lot better shape now than it was the last time I played it. The last time I played it, I was really on the fence about putting it on the channel because it was apparent to me that it was very, very early on. However, I thought that it showed promise, and I'm glad that that's been vetted. Like, the animations look a lot better. They've got all the sound effects in place. There's background music now. Like, I swear to God, the last time I played that there was no music, no sound effects, it was just you playing the game in silence. And so I'm glad to see that development has moved forward and it's kind of like gotten to a place where it feels like a full-fledged product. Uh, I do wish the camera was zoomed in ever so slightly. I would recommend that maybe they give the player access to that. Um, it's zoomed out a little far right now and some of the PNGs that they're using or like some of the JPEGs or whatever that they're using in order for these objects right here, they're losing a little bit of definition and they don't look as clean as they could look. Um, so my thought is that like, you know, if you could let the player zoom in a little bit, I think that'd be pretty rad. Uh, other than that, the combat feels a little bit loosey-goosey, but I do like the research system, and I do like how we're encouraged to like inspect things 
every single time we find something new, like even little stuff like rats, you know, like you want to identify them real fast because you get a bunch of research points that you can use to play the mini games and unlock new craftables. So like there, there is a lot of like little things here that I do like about it and the stuff that, you know, pops out at me as needing to be fixed is not necessarily so massively hindering, um, compared to like other games and their flaws. So anyways, check out Artificer. I got a link for you down below. My name is Splattercat. I sift through the pile to find what's worthwhile in the world of indie games every single day so you don't have to. Today up on the chopping block, Artificer. Tomorrow, who knows? It could be anything. We live in crazy world out here. I'll see y'all then. Thanks for being here.